All right, so to install Resolve 15 and 16 on the same PC, this is what you need to do. Right now, you see I have Resolve 15 open. I only have it, only have one version installed right now. I uninstalled the other one so that I can reproduce this video in better quality and a little bit more detail. So let's close this out. We've got Resolve 15 right there, and we're gonna go to our Programs folder this PC local disk C go to your local disk C go to programs files and you should have black magic design there it won't have 15 there unless you modified it but I've already modified it so what you will do is just click it put 15 at the end or put whatever name you want at the end just change the name from black magic design to black magic design something else or something else something else whatever you want to rename this you do need to rename it or otherwise it will be overwritten when you install DaVinci Resolve 16. So let's close that up. Well, let's leave it open because we're going to go to the software where I downloaded it. We got DaVinci Resolve 16 Beta 1. You're going to right click it, extract all or 7-zip if you have 7-zip and then extract files here or extracted here or extract to blah, blah, blah. And then when you find your extracted folder right here, open it up. Start the install process. Hit yes. Take a look at that. See if you want to install the Fairlight Studio Utility or the Fairlight Audio Accelerator Utility. Um, hit install. Now once that's done, it's going to give you the choice for some um, installation options. So wait for that. Pay attention. Don't just keep click. Don't just keep clicking on the next button. Otherwise, you'll miss the um, options for where you want to install it and changing the name of the installation. Now, actually, on a previous step, where I told you to change the name of your DaVinci, why did it fail? Let's try that again. Okay, there we go. Don't know why it failed the last time. Anyway, when I was um explaining to you about changing the folder name in here, let's go and I'll show you. Local DSC, program files. When I told you to change the name of this, you don't have to change the name of that actually. You can just change the name of your new installation, but to be on the safe side, I changed the name of this right here to DaVinci to, to Black Magic Design 15, but you don't have to. You can just change the name of your new installation. All right, so we hit next. I accept the terms in the license agreement. Hit next. Now, this is the part where you want to pay attention. So instead of it being Black Magic Design, because it's going to install to C program files, Black Magic Design. Instead of it being Black Magic Design, you change that to Black Magic Design 16 or whatever you want to change it to. Or you can change the location of the installation completely. That might work as well, but this is what worked for me. I haven't tried changing the location, like a different drive or whatever. I'm sure that'll work, but just change the name from Black Magic Design to Black Magic Design 16 or whatever you want to change its name to. And then you click next. Then you click install. And let's see what's happening in our programs folder. It's nothing there yet. It's still oh there it is. See? Black Magic Design 16. Now we have both programs installed on our PC. It's still working, but that's pretty much it. Um, let's wait till it finishes, and then we'll um, show you that it works. All right, so it is finished. Resolve install successfully. Okay, perfect. And that's it. Right there. We'll click it. Let's see it opens up. DaVinci Resolve 16. We're done. 
that's how you install 15 and 16 on one PC and then you can just pin it right there if you want pin it to your taskbar now as far as your databases all my databases are already there because I had it installed previously but as far as um updating your databases for 16 I would recommend you back up your databases on 15 and then just go here restore and find the databases that you backed up and then just click it that's the one that I use there to back it up I just backed it up again today because I removed 16 so that I can recreate this video so yeah you just restore that and all your files should be there all your projects should be there that's the local database from 15 I didn't do anything to that I left that alone because it will find that database from 15 and it's going to ask you if you want to update it. See that green arrow is asking me to upgrade it, but I don't want to upgrade it because I don't want to upgrade it. I want to have both versions. So don't upgrade any databases when you install DaVinci Resolve 16, but instead use the backup database from DaVinci Resolve 15 when you back it up. Now, sometimes when you install 16 and you go to open up your project, the project will look fine, but some of the media may say offline. So what you want to do is go back to 15 and then just um, export your project or export your project with stills and LUTs and take note of the location that you exported it to and then import it back into 16 because for some reason this project that I was working on right there was saying some media was offline but when I exported it and imported it back into 16 everything worked out okay so that's that and also keep in mind if you're working on a project in 16 and it's glitching up too much and you have some issues you can export that project back into 15 it doesn't work I already tried that so if you work on a project in 16 you have to complete that project in 16 or um, I guess you could um, deliver the project and code it out to something and then go back into 15 and do that project that way but you won't be able to change any of your settings because everything is encoded and baked into the project so just be careful don't do anything in 16 that is critical because it's a lot of bugs in this version right now. Yeah, I'm going to end the video right here. Alright, thanks for watching. Later.